What's up guys, it's Kelly and today I am partnering up with Lil Undine to show you this really fun St. Patrick's Day manicure as well as a matching eye makeup look. So I have a ton to show you, we may as well just get started. I'm gonna start off by showing you the nail art look and then we're gonna move on to this fun eye makeup look. So here we go. So for the manicure portion, I'm using all Lil Undine peel off nail polishes. So I've got their base and top coat, the color Propose, Morning Glory, Fiji, and Waltz. I'm also gonna use a small nail art brush for some of those details as well as a larger dotting tool. So I've got four different designs for the manicure. I'm going to show you guys one by one and we're starting off with a little glitter gradient. So I'm going to start off with my clean natural nail and apply my base coat and once that's dry I'm going to go in with a couple of coats of this gorgeous white nail polish. So a lot of you guys ask me how you can do a gradient without a sponge and one super easy trick is using a sparse glitter because you can actually just apply the glitter onto your nail as I'm dabbing it on right here to sort of create a gradient without having to use a sponge. So that's always how I like to start, just dabbing it on. And then I'll take a little Q-tip or an orange wood stick and I'll start to place some of those extra glitters around just to create that illusion that it's a gradient where it's like really thick and there's a lot of glitters on the bottom. And then as you go up to the top of the nail, it becomes more sparse. So you can kind of just add it as you see fit until you're satisfied with how it looks. And then once that's done, I'm just gonna add my top coat and move on to the next nail. So the next nail is a little three leaf clover. You might wanna do a four leaf clover for this, but I think three leaves are a little bit easier. So that's what I'm gonna be showing you guys today. If you feel like you can do a four, then go ahead and give it a try. So I'm just starting off again with my clean natural nail, applying my base coat, and then I'm gonna add this really gorgeous minty color as my base color. So then I'm just gonna take my dotting tool and what I'm gonna end up doing is basically making three little hearts on my nail in a triangle shape. So the way that I make hearts is I draw two little dots next to to each other and then I create a little triangle using a nail art brush. It's kind of hard to explain but if you can watch the visuals then you can see kind of what I'm doing. They almost look like little cherries where I'm adding like the stems so that's what you're gonna do. You're just gonna make each one a little heart and then we're gonna connect the tips of those hearts and make it look like a little three-leaf clover because if you think about it the leaves on a three-leaf clover kind of just look like little hearts, right? So that's the easy way to do it. Again, if you wanna do a fourth, you can totally do that. On my nail, it looked a little bit crowded and I kind of thought that three leaves was just a little bit cuter. Anyway, just filling in those shapes of the little hearts. And then once I'm done with that, I'm just gonna kind of connect them together and just make it look more like one little plant rather than three separate little hearts just hanging out on my nail. And once I'm happy with how it looks, I'm just gonna go ahead and add a little bit of a tail and that's gonna be the stem of my three leaf clover. And then once once that's dry, I'm just gonna go ahead and apply my top coat. The really cool thing about doing nail art with Little Undine is because it dries instantly, you don't have to wait to apply your top coat like you would with any other nail art. So anyway, just moving on to the next nail and on this one, we're gonna do a little dot cure. So I love to do a manicure where each nail is totally different, but it uses the same color scheme. So we're gonna apply that here. I'm gonna have a white base color and then we're gonna use those two gorgeous minty bluish colors as our dots. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my dotting tool and I'm gonna create a diagonal line of the lighter colored dots across my nail. So once you're done with that, you can go ahead with the next color and create those dots on the outside of those mint ones. And then you just sort of work your way out. It's a really easy way to come up with a really cool design. You can do this as an accent nail or you could do this as a full manicure and it just looks really fun and interesting. And it looks a lot harder than it is. Polka dots are one of my favorite because they always seem like they're so much harder than they are, but they're actually super easy and fun to do. So once I filled in my whole nail, then I can just go ahead and apply my top coat and that's it for that nail. And the last nail is super easy. I'm literally just going to go in with that gorgeous dark shimmery blue shade. And that's because, I don't know, it's just like, it's almost like having an accent nail on a nail art manicure where the accent nail is the only one that's not nail art. That's something that I do a lot because I think it's just really fun and it also highlights one of the colors. And the other really fun thing that I did, you can't see my other hand yet, but I ended up switching the order around of these nails and I did a totally different order on my dominant hand. So kind of fun to switch it up that way. I ended up doing the three leaf clover on my thumb as well. So you guys can see that, which you never really get to see. But anyway, let's move on to the eye makeup look. Super easy. We're just gonna use a few eyeshadows. So I'm starting off with this really gorgeous minty color that matches that minty nail polish. And I'm just gonna start to work that in my outer corner and into my crease with a really fluffy brush. 
So when you're starting off in the crease with really bright shades like this, they're kind of hard to blend into your skin. So what I like to do is I like to have a layer of kind of a nude powder over my eyes before I go in and do this so that the blue has something to kind of blend into, if that makes sense. So just going and deepening that up. And then I'm gonna take actually a dark green color and I'm going to work that just a little bit more concentrated on that outer edge and into my crease. And I'm not worrying about making a mess on my lid because I am going to cover that with concealer anyway. So once I'm done with that, I'm gonna end up doing a little half cut crease, but the way that I do it, because my eyes are so small, it's kind of hard to tell where I should end that crease. So I basically dot some concealer onto my eye and then I blink so that I can see, you see that little line? That's where I know where to put my concealer. Cause when I blinked, I know that's where the top of my lid goes. So I'm starting to just kind of draw that out and then fill it in with my concealer until I have a nice little half cut crease here. So that line doesn't have to be absolutely perfect because I am gonna cover it with glitter later, but I am gonna try my best to make it really smooth and then I'm just gonna blend that out with my finger. So now I'm just gonna take a white powder and kind of press it on so that I can dry out that concealer and blend colors over it. I'm trying to just stick to using the same exact color palette that I used on my nails because it's really fun to have like a perfectly matching manicure. So I'm going in with that minty green eyeshadow again and I'm starting to blend that out on the outer half of my cut crease. And then I'm gonna do the same thing with that dark green, blending it in until I am satisfied with how that cut crease kind of ends and seamlessly transitions into the corner of my eye. So now comes the fun part. I'm actually gonna take a little lip liner brush and a liquid eyeshadow that's glittery and gold. And I'm just going to trace over where my concealer line is for that cut crease. And I don't know, I've never tried this style before. It ended up being easier than I thought. It's not absolutely perfect, but I think it just really adds another layer of the design and it's really fun and it makes it just look, I don't know, perfect for the holiday. So now I'm just gonna move on to the bottom and I'm just gonna basically do the same thing, starting with the white on the inner corner and then working into that outer corner with the darker color. And then I'm gonna take a teal eye pencil and just kind of work that into my waterline and tight line my eyes so that I have a nice dark color going in there without being too stark by using black. And then I'm going to draw on my wing because you guys know that I don't feel complete without a wing. Although if you guys wanna know a fun fact, I don't normally do fun facts in videos like these, but I actually don't wear a wing to work. And the reason for that is it takes me like five minutes just to draw the wing on every morning and I feel like I get five extra minutes of sleep if I don't wear a wing to work so <laughs> you only really do that if I'm going out if I'm going on a little date or anything like that or if I'm doing a video for you guys so I love wearing the wing but I just can't can't waste that extra time in the morning <laughs> so just gonna take a little brush just to draw that into my inner corner because sometimes my eyes water so I like to use a waterproof eyeliner on the inner corner there and then I'm just gonna go in with some mascara if I were just going out, I would normally finish here, but since this is a YouTube video, I'm gonna add some false lashes because I don't know, that's just how I do it. So just adding on some really nice dramatic false lashes here to complete the look. And that is it for the makeup look. Stick around if you wanna see some of that peeling of the nail polish, cause I'm gonna do that at the end. But here's a couple quick little shots of what that makeup look looks like. I am totally in love with that little gold line. I'm definitely gonna do that for St. Patrick's Day. And here you can see both my nails and my eye makeup. I don't know why I look like I'm about to sneeze or I'm really like sniffing my hands. I'm not sure what's going on here. But anyway, here's some of the peeling so you can appreciate that. And that's it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Give it a thumbs up if you did. Leave me a comment. Let me know what you're doing for St. Patrick's Day and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye. Oh, and also I'm going to show you guys my thumb and I'm going to peel it off right now. So stay tuned for that. Look at that. There's, I have a thumb.